Hey everybody, welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, getting 1% better than yesterday. I'm trying to do the same. I'd like to talk today about why self-knowledge is important. I had a playlist going of 25 important things to know about yourself. There have been two installments already, uh, what your ideal day might look like, what your passions are. I was going to talk about relationships and friendships today, but then I got thinking, Sure, that's good, but why? Why? And I didn't want to go further in the playlist without talking about why self-knowledge is important. Before I do that, um, trying to get some wins today, I was out there side hustling, made about $74, brought me to $161 for the week Instacarting, listing and boxing up some records. I did a product tube today worth $10, and going to try to have a nice healthy lunch and relax a little bit before waiting tables this morning. So I'll go through these uh, quick 12 tips about why self-knowledge is important. Number one, acceptance. Um, accept who you are, your quirks, your flaws, your weaknesses, your strength. Accept the things that you cannot change, but you don't have to accept the things you can change. Like maybe you're too stubborn or maybe you are a person who likes to stay up late, maybe you're a night owl, maybe you want to get up earlier, maybe you sleep in too much. I think you can change those things, but there's certain things um, that we, you know, there's just these things about us that we have to accept. And I think self-acceptance is key. Accept who you are, be okay with who you are. Number two, release self-doubt, which holds us back from accomplishing amazing things. I have had self-doubt in my life and the more, whether it be starting this channel, whether it was trying to be a nurse, um, certain jobs, traveling to certain places, the more I learned about myself, the more self-knowledge I had, the more that self-doubt has decreased. And again, it's, you know, finding about yourself and self-knowledge is a lifelong journey, you know. We're going to know more than we did yesterday, I hope, and, and hopefully we're growing as well. Um, and in turn, releasing that self-doubt, number three, is going to be to build self-confidence, embracing your potential, embracing your abilities. Anything is possible, you know? It's whether it be that profession that you are hesitant to start, the, the next you know, if you want to do a YouTube channel, if you want to pick up a instrument, if you want to meet a certain person, self-knowledge is going to accept who you are. It's going to relieve self-doubt. It's going to boost your confidence. And number four, it's going to make making the right choices easier because exploring your self-knowledge, it's going to give you a true north star to follow. Um, without that knowledge, you're not going to know what to do. What what are your right choices? Are you the person who is going to lie? Are you a person who is going to be lazy all day? Are you a person who's going to side hustle? Are you the type of person who wants someone with great trust? Are you the type of person who is going to be a smoker um, that takes things to excess? Or are you the type of person who is going to be productive, who's going to read, who's going to learn new things, who's going to just keep learning about themselves? And knowing your true North Star, knowing where you want to go is going to help you make the choices that will get you there and hopefully say no to the choices that is going to take you off course from your true north. And our true north here is to break free and to improve a little bit every day and to be the best that we can, whether that's you know financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, um, all those things are gonna, are gonna play in. So self-knowledge, North Star will make your choices better. Number five is gonna be learning to express yourself freely. Um, freedom from negative judgments, the courage to be disliked. Uh, this channel for one, you know, talking amongst your friends, your relatives, um, your hobbies, whether it could be writing songs, could be writing blogs, could be writing poems, any way that you can express yourself freely, 
The more you know about yourself, the more confident and less self-doubt you will have to express yourself freely on your way to your true North Star. Number six is going to be self-knowledge is going to help you fall in love with who you are. Self-care, forgiveness. Um, there's a lot of talk about self-care and it's, it's so important and you need to take time for yourself. You know, meditate, exercise, eat right, make the right decisions, only look back to see how far you've come and forgive yourself for the past mistakes that you made because it was just another step on your journey and you learned from those. And if you learned from your mistakes, it's not a failure. Um, number seven, it's gonna help you to understand others, to develop sympathy, to expand your awareness of other people's feelings and emotions. I think I'm a pretty empathetic guy, sympathetic guy. Um, I feel emotions and I can relate to other people's emotions about their hesitation, their self-doubt about, and their lack of confidence and their lack of accepting who they are on their way to their true North Star, their true vision. And I just recently spoke to a friend who was going to the Peace Corps in Africa and, you know, she's having tons of self-doubt and kind of breaking down a little bit and I just told her to focus on what you can control and how happy she'll be when she gets there, when she fulfills her commitment and she's going to bring so much joy there, just like the joy that she brought to the place that we work at now and I wouldn't have known that stuff if I hadn't maybe struggled with those same thoughts and emotions and if I haven't dug deep into self-knowledge to even learn to focus on what you can control and just kind of cut out the other stuff. Number eight is going to be self-compassion, um, explaining, examining the good and the bad and stop punishing yourself for imperfections. Um, and that's going to also lead to compassion for others. You got to have self-compassion first and you got to kind of see where that comes from that okay, maybe this person who is upsetting you right now, they're coming from a place of hurt. Maybe they're coming from a place of fear. And you can be compassionate of that because we're all just trying to make it through the best way that we can. And I've learned to have compassion for people who are maybe, you know, upsetting us in a certain way. And number nine is going to be to know your self-worth without seeking validation um, through stuff, through clothes. That doesn't make who you are. The baseball cards I used to have doesn't make who I am. The car that I drive has nothing to do with who I am or my happiness. The clothes I wear, um, don't sell yourself short. Your self-worth is is immeasurable and incomparable. And you can only find that through self-knowledge. You are worthy. It's not your money. It's not your appearance. You know, sometimes I still get a little twins. I like to wear my blue hoodie all the time and jeans. And I don't know, like people see me in that same outfit all the time. And, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not as flashy as I need to be. It's myself. Maybe I'm not as worthy as I need to be. Um, I don't need to drive a Denali. I don't need to buy stuff to impress people, um, you know, who I don't care about, which is going to lead to number 10 is going to be the courage to be disliked. Stop seeking others approval. I don't have to make everyone happy and neither do you. You just got to do you and be the best you that you can be. Number 11 is going to improve relationships. Um, if you know who you are, it's going to help you know others and know what others that you want to be around. If you're the type of person who's into self-improvement, who's into trust, who's into, you know, just being the best person that you can be, then that is going to push you towards those people who you're going to have relationship with, your partners and your friends. There's some crazy alarm clock going off in the other room that's one of my kids' toys that just goes off randomly and I'm not sure why. But there's only one more point left that I wanted to talk about. It's going to be 
Self-knowledge is going to be key to figure out what you want to do in life. And that's kind of where I first started this playlist is with your passion, what your ideal day looks like, having purpose. And if you can have a purpose, a passion for your ideal days, that's going to turn into weeks and months. You're going to have an ideal life. And to find your sweet spot. I woke up the other day and... I couldn't even sleep in because I was so excited to start the day. I was like a kid on Christmas morning and I thought to myself, we can build a life that we want to wake up to every day like a kid on Christmas morning and every day is not going to be a success. Some days, you know, stuff's going to happen. Everything might go wrong. Uh, You might make mistakes. You might make promises that you, you might break promises that you make to yourself. You might have to work a double shift. Something bad might happen at work, but you can still try to build a life that you can wake up excited to live every day. Not just weekends, not just holidays, not just sunny days, not just in the summer, but every day. And I think that's the goal here of breaking free from the BS that can hold us back from that and doing everything that we can in our power little by little each day to get us closer to that. I think that's all our North Star, to break free, to be happy, to find joy, to find contentness. And, you know, for some people that's going to be, you know, a lot of money. For some people that's going to be having a nice, just a nice life without needing a lot of things. I think it's more important to find yourself worth, find yourself knowledge and then start piecing together your passions your ideal day, your relationships, and so on and so forth, as we'll talk later in this playlist. I wish you all the best. I'm going to go shut off this crazy alarm. I hope you have a great day, and I will be talking to you on the next video.